With the hard work and love of the Villa Gomez, Munya, and Kinata families, as well as their friends and sponsors, the St. Fidelis Friary Christmas Village is back, bigger and better than ever. Julie Villagoma says this year's theme is called Manger in the City, and she describes how she put the nativity scenes together. What I have is the, on one side is the whole Bilan, which you will see in most homes here in Guam. And on the other side, I have all the collection of different, uh, different uh, holy families, uh, you know, the Bilan from all over the countries. The process to construct this massive holiday masterpiece layered in multi-levels of snow, lights, trains, homes and even the White House and Eiffel Tower started in late September and took a lot of long nights. But Villa Gomez says their families didn't mind because it brought them together again. It's hard work, but it's a labor of love and we get to, I guess this is the only time of the year that we all get together with the Kanata. Donna Kinata explains while the death of Father Daniel and ill family members caused them to take a break from their village last year, it allowed them to create a greater vision of what the scenes look like for this year. We actually have murals painted on the wall and it, it's, a, it's a nice touch to uh, extend our family to our Filipino community and we had awesome artists that uh, Mr. Zepeda had introduced us to and, and friends like Mr. Ricky Valdez who carved a lot of the, the scenes you would see like the White House and the Eiffel Tower and all that but also the murals from uh, Mr. Arnold and Marshall who painted Bethlehem and the different scenic uh, uh, murals that, that you would see outside. So so there's just so much to come and look at. John Kinata explains his role is mainly the train guy, but he was able to link up with Rod Greeno from Hafaday Signs and also with world-famous Philippine model builder Louis Intia to help with many of the city buildings for the village theme. These city buildings are really expensive, some uh, average about $6,000 to purchase. Uh, but when, when I gave him the uh, spill, I gave him the, uh, the request, and I told him that it was for the church, he, he gave happy. he gave all the buildings that we have uh, all for free. Pam Kinata says she thanks Father Joel English for inviting them to come back this year and recalls how it all started with Father Eric Forbes inviting them in 2007. She mentions the village is a way for the friary to open its doors to the public and inspire people during the holiday season. What we like to bring here to Guam and show is that the Capuchin Friary here, the St. Fidelis Friary, they open up their doors to the people of Guam, to the community, to show the people that what the friars are, uh, are very um, active in the community and like to open their home to the people so they can uh, feel the experience of Christmas. The families invite everyone down to experience the Christmas Village because they say people won't be able to learn the history of the scenes and appreciate it unless they see it for themselves. Please, the island of Guam, the, our community, please come down and see what we'd like to, sh to, to give back to you.